people probably think of fitness, but we're thinking of fitness through the first of the year. And our special guest today from Anytime Fitness is Grant Deal. Grant, good morning. Thanks yes, for being Steve. with us. Definitely. It's good, good to be here. Good to see you again. And um, so Grant is with Anytime Fitness. And uh, so we're going to do a little tag team. Sarah's first, but we're just going to kind of grill you on what this fitness is all about. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Grant. Well, really nice to have you here this morning. Um, to start off, we are, um, you know, I, we're just kind of wondering, I'm sure, everybody out there this morning. Um, tell us a little bit about your interests of, um, towards fitness and health. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so my interest in fitness really started, you know, three to four years ago. Uh, I've, I've worked with Family Pharmacy uh, for, you know, five, five to seven years now. Uh, and this opportunity came up to uh, purchase the local Anytime Fitness, and and that's kind of where my 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 passion for fitness and, and everything started, uh, and and I just love doing it, love helping people, love you know Anytime Fitness's tagline is get to a healthier place. So anything we can do, you know, in the pharmacy world, in the uh, fitness world, to help people get to a healthier place, uh, that's kind of our role in the community. You know, Grant, here we are at the first of the year or the second month of the year, and people are still considering, you know, I need to start exercising more, I need to do this more. They're, they're setting goals and things of this nature. What words of wisdom can you um, share with our audience this morning in regard to motivation to say, okay, get off the couch, it's first of the year, let's get going with exercise. Uh, so what words of encouragement can you give them to yeah. help people reach their fitness goals? Yeah, definitely, Steve. It's, it's one thing, it's never too late to start, start working out, start getting in shape, lose a couple of pounds. Uh, it's never too late. There's never a time that you have to, have to commit to it. First of the year is always great with New Year's resolutions, but, but it's never too late. Um, something that I recommend to people that, are, that may have been uh, a little less active in the last couple of years, we've all been there. Uh, not to not to get overboard right after right off the bat, you know. Work your way back into uh, a healthier lifestyle. Uh, start with a couple of days, you know, 20 to 30 minutes a day. You don't need to go in there and kill yourself and burn yourself out, you know, initially. Very good. Very good. Um, I know recently I also started working out, and one of the biggest tips that they gave me, and it's really helped me, was is... Was to put the pizza down while you're on the treadmill? <laughs> Not the pizza, the donuts, too. Uh, but... <laughs> oh, the donuts and treadmill, I got it. Okay. But it was actually to, um, to not quit. Like, every time that you fail to, you know, do what you're supposed to do, whether it's eat the right food or actually go to the gym and work out the right amount of time, not to quit, as in start all over the next day. You know, every time you, you mess up, just start all over, and you'll actually get to where you want to get. So I quit last week, so I'm going to start again this week. So I am def It's so, working out for me. <laughs> Sarah, this is not a therapy session. There's questions to ask, ask Grant, so let's, let's, you know, we'll deal with the issues you have after the show. But um, like I was saying, I do like the idea of losing weight. I'm always after that. So... Are there any exercises that you recommend or any tips to get to that goal sooner? Uh, you know, willing, you know, depending on how, how hard you're willing to push yourself, like I said, you don't want to burn yourself out initially if, if, you've been, if, you, if you haven't been active for a couple of years. But even just walking, walking, uh, one tip I give some people is if you're, if you're used to walking and you're walking on a treadmill, uh, turn the incline up a little bit. You know, that helps burn some of those additional calories without having to exert a whole bunch of more effort. Uh, you'll fill it in your legs a little bit more, but uh, in, in, increase that incline on the treadmill. Uh, that should help burn some additional calories. Uh, but one point you, you, you did say was uh, not to give up and don't get discouraged. Uh, a, a good uh, quote I had heard was, don't give up before good things happen. Uh, you don't want to give up on working out or trying to get back in shape right before you're about to see the results. So uh, stay committed, like like you were saying, and and, and strive for those goals. All right, very good. Good morning, Nina. It's 7:44. Our special guest this morning on the show from Anytime Fitness is Grant Deal. Grant, we had the opportunity to go to your gym and get some footage, and we can probably show that to you now. Uh, along the lines of here's here's my next question. Uh, yes, you have individual equipment. There's there's treadmills and things of this nature, as you'll see here on the screen. But tell us about some of the group classes that you offer. Yes, yeah, Steve. So we're offering right now a couple, of, uh, three or four different kind of group classes. We have uh, a hit cardio, which is high intensity training. Uh, it's it's made to get your heart rate up uh, and keep you moving. 
Uh, we have a step class. It's kind of a boot camp. It, okay. it gets you moving. And then we also have a spin class in the evenings. These are all free classes uh, that you can try out with our gym. Um, it, it comes with your membership, so it's, it's an easy way to get involved with the group uh, and, and meet some new friends and, and really enjoy enjoy what you're doing. And, and I appreciate you saying that about meeting other individuals because sometimes uh, it helps in the motivation. You may work in different uh, areas of the city, but you know, I'll meet you at the gym and that's your accountability partner, exactly. whatever, so these group classes help out. So. Yeah, find yourself a gym partner. That's, that's an also uh, to eliminate some of those roadblocks. If you got somebody that goes to the gym consistently with you, uh, That'll help you stay engaged and stay stay in that routine of, of getting to the gym and working out. Real quick, Grant, uh, before Sarah lines up another tough question for you. As people are seeing this, can you kind of explain what individuals will find at Anytime Fitness as, as they see the equipment and stuff? Yeah, if you've ever been at Anytime Fitness before, uh, we're a little bit larger than the average, average gym, but as Jenna, my manager, was showing you, that's some of the... Uh, the weightlifting equipment, uh, they showed our cardio room in there. It's a large cardio room, uh, you spin bikes, uh, the typical stuff, treadmills, ellipticals, uh, recumbent bikes. Uh, we have a studio that has virtual classes that if there's not somebody there teaching a class, you can go in there and take a virtual class. Uh, I take one or two of those a week. So uh, it's technology's come a long ways that we can offer a variety of different classes without actually having trainers on site. Very good. I know you guys were talking about the benefit of partnering with a friend and getting to the gym and working out together. Can you tell us a little bit about the benefits of attending a class and um, being surrounded by a group rather than doing working out on your own? Yeah, uh, you know, anytime the competitive nature, uh, you know, will take a, take a hold of you. When you're working, in, working out in a class or taking a class, uh, it's natural for you to see other people, you know, struggling with the same exercises, same routines that you're struggling with, but they're pushing through it. Uh, so it kind of gives you that drive to push through any pains or push through any uh, any issues you're having and and push to achieve those goals that you've that you've set for yourself. Grant, um, many individuals. I know for the longest time, my wife would go to the gym, but I would just go for a run. Mm -hmm. I was not the gym person, and uh, of course, that's kind of you know, a transforming through the years where I, I do more of the gym now. But sometimes there's this uh, little intimidation factor. So, oh man, I don't look as lean and mean as I used to. Or you see these people on TV exercising, hmm, their body does not match my body. And there's a little bit of this gym intimidation, like I don't think I can go to the gym with how I look next to a 105 pound real fit person. So how, what do you recommend to individuals to really overcome this gym intimidation. I'll just call it intimidation. Yeah, yeah, which it's definitely out there. Uh, everybody's felt it. It's not just you. It's not, you know, everybody's always looking to better themselves. So uh, what, I, what I explain to people is if you're in the gym and you feel like somebody's looking at you, chances are they're not. Uh, <laughs> they're more worried about themselves and what they're working on to improve. Uh, it's easy to say, don't be intimidated, don't do this. Uh, but, you know, focus on yourself. Uh, most of the time, they're not looking at you. They're looking at the TV behind you. So uh, you shouldn't be intimidated. Uh, but I know we've all, we've all felt that intimidation on, I'm, I'm, I'm not strong enough to do that. I'm not good enough to do that. But you got to kick that, kick that guy off your shoulder that's telling you you can't do it and, uh, and, and get in there and just get your work done. You know, it's... It's there and it's real, but you got to try to block out those noises that say you can't do something. Well, Grant, my solution to this is that the physiques are from A to Z, you know, <laughs> and you just kind of find the people that is real close to your physique exactly. and, hang, and hang around those exactly. individuals. Exactly, make friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make friends. You know, they, they, look, they look as big as I do, so I'll go talk to them. Exactly. <laughs> so we did, we did cover the topic of pizza and donuts, and we know what not to eat, obviously. We oh, want yeah. to lose weight. We need weight. to talk about waffles. Oh, but go pancakes. ahead, go ahead, yes, I'm sorry. Right. So we've talked about a lot of food that we're, <laughs> we should not be having, obviously, if, we're, if our goal is to lose weight. Um, and I think most people know that, but something that I don't think everybody knows is what foods to take before going to the gym to make sure you get the most out of your workout. Uh, so a good food, you know, 
a lot of diets say you really need to stay away from your, your carbohydrates, but uh, a good food to eat before a workout would be some sort of clean, healthy carb, like uh, some almonds, some rice, or uh, something that's not real heavy. Not Obviously not pizza or waffles right before you go to work out. But uh, some so type of... be a good time for the waffles? <laughs> <laughs> first thing in the morning. If you're gonna, if you're gonna have waffles... To, to me, first it's after the, the workout because I need that motivation. If I'm, going, <laughs> if I'm gonna do this extra piece of equipment, I'm thinking What's pancakes later, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but definitely uh, you, can, you can treat yourself. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself. Uh, it's not so much a cheat day. Let's stick with cheat meals. Uh, pick one meal out of the day on your cheat cheat day-ish to have just one bad meal. Try to limit those those unhealthy snacks and stuff like that. But any healthy snack right before a workout will help increase your in energy, your glucose levels, and it'll give you a little bit of a better workout if you got a little some carbs in your system. Okay. And any tips for after your workout? After your workout, you know, if you're even if you're doing just running, you know, that's building muscle in your legs. If you're running, walking on an incline. Uh, weightlifters, you know, the general rule of thumb is to, to take protein, uh, some sort, get protein in your body, whether that be a protein shake or just uh, going home and eating your, your, your supper that has high, high protein, uh, lots of vegetables, lots of fresh fruit, uh, stuff like that. Um, right after your workout, that's when you want get to a, get a good meal to help your body recover from, from whichever exercise that you did participate in. Okay.